ChatGPT, the incredibly intelligent language model system trained by OpenAI is changing life as we know it. So when it comes to learning about living in Green Bay, I put ChatGPT to the test. From climate to economics to what the city is like, I ask ChatGPT the questions people want to know about Green Bay to see what it had to say. And don't forget to stick around to the end because I ask ChatGPT if it would want to live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You're not going to want to miss this and it's coming your way right now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Living in Green Bay. My name is Andrew Geiwitz, your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area and host of Living in Green Bay. I put ChatGPT to the test to see what it might say about Green Bay and maybe where some of the inaccuracies may lie in a computer that really honestly has never lived in Green Bay. But we're going to ask it some of the Living in Green Bay questions to hear what it has to say. And I'm going to let the AI software talk to you about it using AI voice and AI language that has written all of this into text and put it into a video format for us. So it's a lot of AI at work at one time. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's a fun idea. And I will see you as we walk through these questions with ChatGPT. All right, let's get started here. Hey, ChatGPT, could you tell me everything someone needs to know about living in Green Bay? Green Bay, Wisconsin is a mid-sized city located in the northeastern part of the state. It is known for being the home of the Green Bay Packers, a professional football team that plays at the historic Lambeau Field. Here are some important things you need to know about living in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Climate. Green Bay experiences cold winters with temperatures often dipping below freezing, and warm summers with occasional hot and humid days. Spring and fall can be mild with beautiful foliage. The cost of living in Green Bay is lower than the national average, making it an affordable place to live. Housing costs are particularly low, with a range of options available from apartments to single-family homes. Education. Green Bay has a number of reputable public and private schools, as well as a community college and a four-year university. Green Bay has a diverse economy with a variety of industries, including healthcare, education, manufacturing, and retail. Major employers in the area include the Green Bay Packers, Bellin Health, and Schneider National. Transportation. Green Bay has a public transit system called Green Bay Metro, which provides bus service throughout the city and surrounding areas. There is also an airport in Green Bay with daily flights to major cities. Culture and Entertainment. In addition to football games at Lambeau Field, Green Bay has a number of cultural and entertainment offerings, including a performing arts center, museums, and parks. It is also located near popular outdoor destinations such as Door County and the Bay of Green Bay. Green Bay is known for its friendly and welcoming community, with a strong sense of community pride and involvement. There are a variety of community events and festivals throughout the year, including the popular Green Bay Packers training camp. Overall, Green Bay is a great place to live if you enjoy a smaller city with affordable living, a strong sense of community, and a variety of cultural and entertainment offerings. Well, that was a pretty good first summary if I don't say so myself. Let's drill down into a few more key topics here and see what it has to say. Hey, ChatGPT, could you tell us more about the demographic makeup of Green Bay, Wisconsin? Here are some key demographic details about Green Bay, Wisconsin. Population. According to the United States Census Bureau, the estimated population of Green Bay as of 2020 was 105,139. Age. The median age in Green Bay is 34.2 years, which is slightly younger than the national median age of 38.2 years. 
Gender. The population of Green Bay is roughly evenly split between males and females. Race and ethnicity. The racial and ethnic makeup of Green Bay is predominantly white, with approximately 77% of the population identifying as non-Hispanic white. The remaining population is made up of Hispanic, Latino, African American, Asian, Native American, and other racial and ethnic groups. Education. Approximately 90% of adults in Green Bay have a high school diploma or equivalent, and approximately 30% have a bachelor's degree or higher. The median household income in Green Bay is $59,635, which is slightly lower than the national median household income of $68,703. Housing. The homeownership rate in Green Bay is approximately 60% with a median home value of $165,500. Overall, Green Bay is a relatively diverse community with a slightly younger population and a mix of homeowners and renters. The economy is supported by a variety of industries, including healthcare, education, manufacturing, and retail, with a median household income that is slightly lower than the national average. Well, that was actually pretty helpful too, Here's the one that people ask me a lot because Green Bay is kind of known for it. Hey, ChatGPT, why don't you tell us more about the weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin? What is the weather like in Green Bay, Wisconsin? Green Bay, Wisconsin has a continental climate with four distinct seasons. The weather can vary greatly throughout the year, with cold winters and warm summers. Here's what you can expect from each season. Winter, December to February. Winters in Green Bay are typically cold and snowy, with temperatures ranging from the low 20s to the mid 30s Fahrenheit, minus 6 to 2 degrees Celsius. Snowfall is common, and the city typically receives around 50 inches of snow per year. Spring, March to May. Spring in Green Bay can be mild and pleasant, with temperatures gradually warming up from the 30s to the 60s Fahrenheit, 0 to 16 degrees Celsius. However, spring weather can also be unpredictable, with occasional snow and rain showers. Summer, June-August. Summers in Green Bay are warm and humid, with temperatures averaging in the mid-70s to low 80s Fahrenheit, 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. However, temperatures can occasionally reach into the 90s Fahrenheit, 32 to 35 degrees Celsius, with high humidity levels. Fall, September to November. Fall in Green Bay is typically mild and colorful, with temperatures ranging from the 40s to the 60s Fahrenheit, 4 to 16 degrees Celsius. The area is known for its beautiful fall foliage, with leaves changing to vibrant shades of red, orange, and yellow. Overall, Green Bay experiences a wide range of weather throughout the year, with cold winters and warm summers. It's important to be prepared for a variety of weather conditions if you're planning to live in Green Bay. Green Bay has all four seasons. That's one of my favorite things. I think if you've seen some of the other videos like this one, you might have learned that already. Thanks for confirming it though, ChatGPT. Could you tell us more about the economy and the economic makeup of Green Bay, Wisconsin? The economy of Green Bay, Wisconsin is diverse and includes a mix of industries, including manufacturing, healthcare, education, and retail. Here are some key aspects of the local economy. Manufacturing. Manufacturing is a significant contributor to the local economy, with major employers such as paper and packaging company Georgia Pacific, consumer products company Kimberly Clark. Healthcare. Green Bay has a strong healthcare sector, with major employers including Bellin Health, Aurora Healthcare, and St. Vincent Hospital. Education. Education is also an important industry in Green Bay, with major employers including the University of Wisconsin Green Bay, Northeast Wisconsin Technical College, and the Green Bay Area Public School District. Retail Green Bay is home to a variety of retail businesses, including major chains such as Walmart, Target, and Kohl's, as well as locally owned stores and boutiques. Tourism 
Tourism is also a significant contributor to the local economy, thanks in part to the popularity of the Green Bay Packers and the city's location near popular outdoor recreation areas such as Door County and the Bay of Green Bay. Overall, the economy of Green Bay is relatively stable and diverse, with a mix of large and small businesses supporting the local workforce. The median household income is slightly lower than the national average, but the cost of living in Green Bay is also lower than many other cities in the United States. So how do you think it's going so far? It's getting a lot of detail, isn't it? Well, let's ask it about culture in Green Bay. Hey, ChatGPT, tell us about some of the culture in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay, Wisconsin has a distinct culture that is influenced by its history, location, and community spirit. Here are some key aspects of the culture in Green Bay. Football. Green Bay is known for its love of football, and the Green Bay Packers are a central part of the city's culture. The team stadium, Lambeau Field, is a popular tourist attraction and a source of pride for many locals. Festivals and events. Green Bay is home to a variety of festivals and events throughout the year, including the annual Packers training camp, the Art Street Festival, and the Bay Beach Amusement Park's Zippin' Pippin' Roller Coaster. Outdoors, with its location on the shore of Lake Michigan and its proximity to Door County, Green Bay offers a variety of outdoor recreational opportunities, including fishing, boating, hiking, and camping. Heritage and History Green Bay has a rich heritage and history, including its status as one of the oldest settlements in the United States. The city is home to a number of museums and historic sites, including the National Railroad Museum, the Neville Public Museum, and the Heritage Hill State Historical Park. Community Spirit Green Bay is known for its strong sense of community, with many residents taking pride in supporting local businesses and organizations. Volunteering is a popular activity, and there are many opportunities to get involved in community service and outreach programs. Overall, the culture of Green Bay is characterized by a strong sense of community, a love of football, and a variety of cultural and recreational offerings. So we've talked about culture, we've talked about weather, we've talked about economics. Chat GPT, could you tell us more about the cost of living in Green Bay, Wisconsin? The cost of living in Green Bay, Wisconsin is relatively affordable compared to many other cities in the United States. Housing. The median home price in Green Bay is lower than the national average, making it an affordable option for home buyers. Rental prices are also lower than many other cities, with the average monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment around $800. Utilities. The cost of utilities in Green Bay is also lower than the national average, with the average monthly utility bill for a 915-square-foot apartment around $130. Food and groceries. The cost of food and groceries in Green Bay is slightly higher than the national average, but still relatively affordable. The average cost of a meal at a mid-range restaurant is around $12, and the average monthly cost of groceries for one person is around $300. Overall, the cost of living in Green Bay is relatively affordable compared to many other cities in the United States making it an attractive option for those looking to live in a friendly and welcoming community with a low cost of living. All right, I think it's summarized quite a bit of detail pretty well to this point. Let's see if it has anything to say if we get a little bit more competitive. Hey, ChatGPT, is Green Bay the best city to live in in Wisconsin? Determining whether Green Bay is the best city to live in Wisconsin is a subjective matter that depends on individual preferences, priorities, and lifestyle. Some people may prefer the urban amenities of Milwaukee or Madison, while others may prefer the natural beauty of areas like Door County or the Northwoods. However, Green Bay does offer a number of advantages that make it an attractive place to live for many people, including Affordable cost of living the cost of living in Green Bay is lower than many other cities in the United States, with affordable housing, utilities, and transportation. Diverse Economy Green Bay's diverse economy offers a variety of job opportunities in industries like manufacturing, healthcare, education, and retail. Strong Sense of Community Green Bay is known for its friendly and welcoming community, with many opportunities for volunteering and community involvement. Outdoor Recreation 
With its location on the shores of Lake Michigan and its proximity to areas like Door County, Green Bay offers a variety of outdoor recreational opportunities, including fishing, boating, hiking, and camping. Cultural Offerings Green Bay has a variety of cultural offerings, including museums, festivals, and events, as well as a vibrant arts and entertainment scene. Ultimately, whether Green Bay is the best city to live in Wisconsin depends on individual factors like job opportunities, lifestyle preferences, and personal goals. However, Green Bay is certainly a city worth considering for those looking for a welcoming community, diverse economy, and plenty of recreational and cultural offerings. It may be helpful to visit the city and explore the area to get a better sense of whether it would be a good fit for your needs and interests. Okay. This is the big question I wanted to see if it had an answer for. Hey, ChatGPT, would you move to Green Bay, Wisconsin? As an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to move to any location. However, I can provide some general information that may be helpful in making a decision about whether to move to Green Bay. Ultimately, the decision to move to Green Bay or any location depends on individual preferences, lifestyle, and priorities. It may be helpful to visit the city and explore the area to get a better sense of whether it would be a good fit for your needs and interests. Who would you use maybe as a source to get that kind of information and make a move to Green Bay, Wisconsin? Reaching out to a local expert can be a great way to get more information and guidance about living in Green Bay. A local expert such as a real estate agent, relocation specialist, or community organizer can provide insights into the local housing market, neighborhoods, schools, and other important aspects of life in Green Bay. Well, what did you think of ChatGPT's review of living in Green Bay? Did it miss any information you think that it should have shared or did it maybe say something in a way that you think isn't necessarily true well this software is learning as it goes so there may be things like that if you saw or would it have included something else be sure to mention it in the comment section below the video i thought we could put chat gpt to the test one more time and have it wrap up its summary of living in green bay hey chat gpt can you wrap up this video for us that's a wrap on our journey through green bay wisconsin with me chat gpt we hope you enjoyed learning about this vibrant city and all it has to offer thanks for watching